Welcome back to One Big Question. I'm Tony Jarvis and I'm joined today by Kevin Chan. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me here. I'm super excited. My name is Kevin Chan um, and I'm the pre-sales manager for Southeast Asia. Um, really excited to be here for the segment. Really excited to have you, thank you. So today we're actually looking at a really, really interesting question, uh, one of making a business case for new technology. And we see this all the time. We see teams struggling to evaluate new solutions, trying to figure out of all of the myriad options out there in the marketplace, what is right for them? What should they be evaluating? How do they actually go about doing that evaluation? We've seen it turn into technical exercises by technical teams. We've seen business leaders get uh, into the mix. But what is the best way? Are there best practices around this? Are there, are there things that are advised that can really ease the burden here and help organizations make the right choice? So today's segment, what we're looking at, Kevin, is taking that as a question. You spent a lot of time in the field. You've helped customers with these exact questions. Keen to get your insights into how can we make a good business case and how can we arrive at the right solution? Great question, Tony. We do this all the time with our customers. Um, as you mentioned, customers today have a myriad of options they can go for. Um, so a few things we like to help our customers understand. First is, what is their business justification for wanting this new solution or a new piece of technology? Um, so that being one, and really understanding what their end state goal is. Um, a lot of times I feel like our customers are coming to us and saying, oh, we want the following feature. So it becomes a checkbox of things that they're looking for. Um, but you're really missing what the end state goal is. There might be multiple ways to get there. So you almost put yourself into a box by not thinking a little bit broader about your end state objective, your end state goal. Um, so we go through that exercise with our customers being uh, one of those items. Uh, another thing we do a lot with our customers today is really defining understanding what is a success criteria and do you even need to do a POC? Um, for most solutions that are proven out there, do you need to go through a full POC process because that tends to delay your evaluation cycle versus will a demo of a proven solution really be functional enough for you to consider that? Um, so just a few things that we would go through with our customers to understand their needs. For sure, and they're all really, really good points. We're actually going to come back and explore this in much more detail, uh, really go into a deep dive, um, this question and a couple more. So do join us for that. We're going to go into a lot more detail, get some really interesting content out there. Uh, come back, join us for that, and we look forward to having you then. Thank you.